Hello, my name is Dan Rope, working on the Brunel Visualization Project. I want to show you a few things you can do with Brunel once it has been integrated in Jupyter. So first you see I've imported Brunel using the Python language. And Brunel uses the pandas set for manipulating and using data for visualizations. So let's start off first with a simple bar chart. And in this case I have a data set that's about whiskeys in different countries and so forth. So let's first take a look at alcoholic beverage content per category of whiskey in a bar chart. So we can improve this a little bit. We like to always sort by that average value so it's easier to see the highest and lowest value. Maybe ascending as opposed to descending. I like to look at my bar charts transposed sometimes. It can be just easier to read the text. It's easy to do that. And putting some tool tips on makes it really easy to just roll the mouse over and see what those average values are. So there's quite a bit more you can do with Brunel, and we have a few more examples we can show you. So let's first take a look at adding some interactivity for Brunel. Let's start off with our same whiskey data set. And in this case here, let's let's begin with a simple bubble chart so showing the number of whiskeys produced by each country. So I want to get the, the countries, uh, size the bubbles by the counts, and I'm using a bubble chart. And we'll have the names of the countries on the bubbles themselves. So we'll go ahead and, and execute that first and see our basic bubble chart. Now, let's see we want to add some interactivity with another graph. So the uh, first thing we'll do here is we're going to go over a line, so add another percent sign here for the magic. Okay, so let's add an interaction here. And what we're going to say is upon selection, we're going to connect this with another Brunel graph, which will be in the same visualization. In this case here, we want to have a bar chart of the average prices per category of whiskey that will be linked to our bubble chart. So we have equipped the Brunel specification for that. And then we're going to say upon the interaction, we're going to filter those bars. We execute that, and now we can see on the top we have our bubble chart that counts by the countries. And when we click on it, then we can see what those average prices are per each country. So here's another example showing some interactive features of Brunel. So we have a data set here that uh, essentially has an X column and a Y column and a secret pattern hidden within the cloud of points. And so we'll just plot a scatter plot here, and then we can use the Brunel zooming feature. If your mouse is inside the graph, you can then scroll within to get zoom in. And if we scroll in far enough, we can see the pattern that's been hidden in this data. There it is. And what's nice, we're in a notebook, so we can give a little hint to someone who might be looking at this notebook on what to do to find that pattern. And lastly, we have an example here using analytic libraries with Brunel. So we've used scikit-learn to get word occurrences from the text of Moby Dick. And we're going to use that and start off with maybe take a cloud of those results. So we'll start off with our cloud. Uh, and we'll size these words by how frequently they occur in the text. And we'll sort so that we can have the larger words towards the center. Uh, the label will show the word itself. And then we'll add a bit of style in here to make it look somewhat like a wordle. Well, we don't need legends for this. That would just take up unnecessary space. So let's remove those specific width and height. And let's go ahead and execute that. And there you can see the uh, our wordle based on the results came from scikit-learn. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more or try it out, please come visit us on PyPy.